ABC 7 Eyewitness News exclusive tonight. Watch as a suburban woman's car careens into the path of a metro train. She survived. Her car is totaled. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Bradley live in Itasca tonight with a warning for all drivers. Ben. Kathy and Ron Metro released this video to Eyewitness News with the hope that it will remind everyone to stay far away from the tracks, especially when the roads and rails are icy. Even though it appears the locomotive engineer saw the car, there was simply no way to stop this train in time. The train's horn was sounding. The crossing gates were down. And then, suddenly, the sound of the impact caught on the Metro Locomotive's event recorder. And this is what's left of the car. Inside, 78-year-old Patricia Vitali. When rescuers reached her, Vitali was conscious. She's now in intensive care. It's amazing that anybody could live through that. So it's, um, you know, God was on her side. Jim Vitelli was preparing to meet his mom when he received a text saying she had been in an accident. This is what's left of her car. It flipped over before coming to rest alongside the tracks. Patricia Vitelli is a retired teacher who's lived in Itasca most of her life. Relatives say she's a conscientious driver familiar with the crossing. Maybe she didn't even know it was coming. Um, maybe her instinct just was that, oh, I need to get back. Some witnesses report seeing another car bump Vitaly's vehicle, perhaps pushing it onto the tracks. Police have not been able to confirm that. But after seeing this video, everyone can agree. She was lucky, you know, but her car is total. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's very scary to see that car. Still in the hospital and has a lot of internal issues that could arise. But um, right now, I say that uh, God was on her side and decided it wasn't her time to, to go. The crash damaged the, damaged the signal box here in Itasca, so trains will run more slowly through the area so it can be rebuilt, and flaggers will be out here. They're out here right now to monitor this crossing until the gates can be repaired. As for Mrs. Vitale, we're told that she has a broken vertebrae, several broken ribs, and a punctured lung, but still, doctors are hopeful that she'll make a full recovery. That's the latest live in Itasca. Ben Bradley, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Kathy? Okay, Ben, thank you.